Hey everybody. So this week I am excited to bring you Restaurant Week. Um, I don't, if you don't have it in your state or your city, uh, what Restaurant Week is, is it's like a list of a hundred or so restaurants that set up a prefix menu for X amount of dollars, which is generally cheaper than what you would get it for just paying the outright price for it. Um, and it's just kind of a way for people to try new restaurants that they haven't tried um, for a set price, um, a set lower price, um, just, you know, if they weren't sure that they would like it or give the people opportunity that can't afford expensive restaurants to try expensive restaurants for a lower set price. Um, this happens twice a year in the Columbus area. It happens in January and it happens again in July. Um, in, gen in July, we generally take advantage of the entire week. Um, that's not the case for January. Um, January, what ends up happening is we always forget about it. Um, and it's a last, it's a, it's a last minute thing that we end up doing because we want to take advantage of it, um, but we don't have a budget for it because we always forget to set it just coming off of a vacation in December. Um, so in January, plus it's cold outside and I hate going out in the cold. So in January, we usually only hit up restaurant week, two to three, um, meals in the week. And, um, so this week we are hitting three different restaurants. Uh, tomorrow, which is Tuesday, we are going to hit a Mexican restaurant that we have not tried. It's here in Pickerington. Uh, the, it's called El Vecuero, I guess. <laughs> um, and the prefix menu is $15 per person. Um, it's three courses for $15. And then on Friday, um, we are going to Copious, just John and myself, for a date night. And that is also three courses for $30 a person. And then um, we are, on Saturday, we are going to take Vlad out to dinner and a movie. So we are doing um, Cafe Istanbul at Easton. We've never been there, and that is... $20 per person um, for the three courses um, and they you know they have restaurants in the $15 category $20 25 30 and $35 per person menus so I will see you throughout the week um, when we hit these restaurants and I will show you the food and I will remind you of the restaurant and remind you of the price and you get to join us so I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Very good. Hmm? For dessert. So we went to El Vaquero. El Vaquero. El Vaquero for dinner tonight. Um, <clears throat> so John's gonna have to put like a little insert in because I forgot to introduce it at the beginning. But um, ah, sorry about that. So we went there and it was fifteen dollars a person. Uh, 
for a three course meal. And I mean, it was okay. I'm not a huge fan of Mexican food. Um, it's not my go-to when I eat out. But it, it was good. Um, I did feel like the plates were microwaved. Like they were microwave hot, not hot plate hot. Or what are they called? Is that, it's called a hot plate, right? Where they set it under the lights, yeah. It didn't feel hot plate hot, it felt like microwave hot. Um, but I mean, it, it seemed okay. It's, it's not really our typical standard of eating. So, I mean, I would give it a three and a half, a three. I mean, it was still good. Um, <clears throat> you know, with being Mexican food, it was really heavy, um, which isn't my preferred food. Um, but I mean, it, it was okay. It was okay. Um, and you know for the price it, it was good so that's what I'm gonna go with I'll go with a three three and a half I mean it's not somewhere where I would go again um, it's not somewhere that I would recommend to somebody um, but for what it was it was good it was decent see you Friday bye